Traditionally, before we all got rid of all the statues in churches, in every church we traditionally had, when you entered in, there was the tabernacle and the present in the middle of the church at the back, on the high altar, the crucifix where we could work out the great sacrifice that Jesus made for us by giving his life for us, reminding us that he's always present in the tabernacle, the sanctuary life reminding us of his presence abiding there in that church, in the tabernacle. And on his right was a statue of our Blessed Mother, and on the left was a statue of Saint Joseph. And this was a very good uh, image to remind us when the wife of Zebedee came asking Jesus, requesting that her son sit one at his right and the other at his left. Our Lord said, this place is not his to give, to grant, but it has already been allocated. The place on his right and left has been allocated. Now sometime back I've shared you a story about um, King Solomon. When King Solomon was made king, his mother Bathsheba entered the throne room and Solomon descended the steps to embrace his mother who came to pay him homage. And he ordered the soldiers to put a chair on his right hand side of the throne where a place was given to Bathsheba, the Queen Mother, to intercede on behalf of her family of Solomon's stepbrothers and sisters to intercede for on their behalf to him. So if an earthly king would give the place on his right, the, power, the place of authority to his earthly mother, then today's celebration reminds us that when Mary was taken a body and soul into heaven, the place that would be allocated for her would naturally be on his right. And on his left, presumably, would be for Saint Joseph. So there we have in heaven our Blessed Mother interceding for us on the right hand side of Jesus, praying for us, helping us from heaven in this life, to live holy lives, to follow Jesus faithfully, so one day we can all be with our Heavenly Mother in heaven with Jesus. So today's Feast of the Assumption is the most important feast of Our Lady. It is a feast of a total liberation from death and decay, the consequences of original sin. So you see, the fact that Mary is, was conceived immaculately, her body was not conceived of original sin, from the moment of her conception she was preserved in grace, and therefore because she was preserved in this grace, it is only natural that God would not allow her body that was always preserved in grace to decay like all our bodies would eventually. So Mary was taken up after her death, body and soul, into heaven to be with God in heaven, seated at the right hand side of Jesus, interceding for all of us, her children. It is always an inspiring thought in our moments of temptation and despair to remember that we have a powerful Heavenly Mother constantly interceding for us before her Son Jesus. So on this feast day of our Heavenly Mother, let us offer ourselves on this altar and pray for her special care and loving protection in helping us lead a purer and a holier life. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.